Hello everyone, Godzilla Guy here. Today, day 7, I believe, of the 10 days of Christmas. Today we'll be looking at weird, odd, like, unordinary, and just some downright creepy Godzilla figures. So stick around to see them all, or don't, I can't really stop you, but uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello everyone. So today I was having a hard time thinking of what are some what are some cool figures I could show off in my video, and I realized I've already done like cool figures, rare ones, NECA, Bandai, 62, 54, and I'm like, I don't really know what else to do. And then I'm like, I have never, it came to me that I've never done one of my weird, like odd Godzilla toys slash slash merchandise. Um, so we have quite a few, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things to show off. So uh, let's just go ahead and grab one. Uh, let's see. You. This, now, this little, little guy. guy I actually did show off in my rare videos the other day. But I thought I would show him off again. Now, he uh, pretty much is like any regular Godzilla tail. Uh, that's about it. But the weird thing about him, he has this little, like, little spinning notch thing. So you twist this little sucker up like so, which is really hard because his arms and legs. But after you struggle for a while and your fingers start to bleed, come down. Voila. It's really random. Uh, you know, he can get some stances, you know, like that, or like he's walking, but not much. That's really all he does. I mean, as far as the sculpt and paint, do I really have to go into? It's just simple. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Um, another small one. Very creepy. This little guy. I forgot what the brand name is. I'll put it on screen. I guess I don't have the box some somewhere, um, but I couldn't find it while trying to get this video. So, it, is, uh, it was like a little random pack of like random Godzilla, not just Godzilla, but other kaiju from the Godzilla universe. And this is the Shin Godzilla one, and ugh, it's wrong in every way. He literally has noodle arms, like they're actually bendy now, it's weird. The spikes are just, uh, the eyes and the teeth, it's just wrong. It just shouldn't exist. Kid robot, also. That makes sense, because the other creepy one is another kid robot. <laughs> This thing, what is up with Kid Robot and making all their things look like they have, like, uh, uh, multiple felonies on their personal record? This just looks wrong. Um, show this guy off in the 54 video. Uh, and uh, <laughs> they're just, they're just not, they're just unsettling to look at. I usually don't really have these up in my collection. The areas I do have them, they're very hard to see for good reason, <laughs> but... They're all right, After I guess. After buying a lot of Godzilla stuff, you know, I'm pretty broke, so I kind of need a piggy bank. The Godzilla piggy bank. Now, there are multiple versions of this, uh, many. I think there's like almost four or five now. <laughs> but it's very cool. On the top, let's actually get the camera higher up so you can see better. So look. As you can see, there is this little top thing up here that you press this, and then Godzilla comes out. So we'll start off with this little penny. You set it down and press. He has multiple different, like, music and roars. It goes, little head, his hand comes up, grabs it. You can do it for pretty much any size coin. I think even, eh, maybe not half dollar. I don't have a half dollar on me. But very cool. As you can see, it cycles through songs. We'll do one more. Has all his musics. Look at him down there. And if you want to get your money out, do not worry. You can very easily. Now, you could just honestly open this up and get it out, which would be easier, but we're going to stick to how it's built. So you untwist this, and then it should fall off like so. And there you are. Your money back. And just line this sucker back up. Lock it back in. And boom. You have a Godzilla piggy bank. I have another one, but it's like, it kind of cool. It's like a statue. You guys have probably seen it. It's a diamond here. I'll just, I'll, I'm not going to put a screen up on, I'm not going to put a picture up. There it is. That big guy. So, yeah. <laughs> i get the tripod back down. But yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool little box. Uh, I think I got it for around 15. Um, and there's lots of variants. There's like a burning. Um, there's, I think I saw like a blue one, like a fully blue one. It looked really cool. But yeah, there was like a fully red one too. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool uh, piggy banks. So, multiple I made a video on these guys quite a while ago. Um, before I show you, 
when when you think of Godzilla, what do you think of? Like, actually, seriously. <laughs> Say it out loud or comment down below. What do you think when you think Godzilla? You know, city, uh, destruction, nuclear radiation, you know, dangerous, hot, like, really, like, you know, hazardous. Um, apparently, this company did not... Because we have squishy Godzillas. Because there's not a squishy for everything. And so, Burning Godzilla, the one that almost could have destroyed the world, can now be in the palm of your hand and de-stress whenever, you know, your math and your algebra is too hard. But it's really... <laughs> the concept's a little baffling, but it's definitely cool. It can kind of not really stand on its own. Um, yeah. I have a Mecha variant. I'll go ahead and grab him. Uh, he's in my Mecha area of my collection. There you are. Show a Mecha Godzilla. Ah, yes, the very pointy, jagged metal thing can now also just be squished. Have him fight it out. And then, mm, mm, well, we'll cut the camera. Next up, I showed off my G Fest video. I called him the Dad Bod Godzilla. And only today I actually cleaned them up because he had like some gunk on him because he had a previous owner. <laughs> but here he is. Here's what I mean when I said the Dad Bod. He's got a beer belly. But he's a very, very cartoonish, you know, like almost like he just looks like someone drew him and then just like took him out of the drawing, made him into a figure. This is by Bandai, has some arm movement, some leg, and even some tail, which is surprising for Bandai. The detail's fine, you know, it's very cartoonish, uh, very chibi, almost. But it's a cool little figure, for sure. I like the big hands, you know, it's very nice. And I mean, honestly, for a figure, it's pretty big. It's, um, fairly well-sized. Um, I mean, it's short, but it's, like, thick, you know? It's, it's not like a skinny Godzilla. Now... We have a really big guy. He uh, is bigger than pretty much all my SA Monster Arts. I'm gonna probably back up the tripod, in fact. <laughs> Let's get this aimed for the rub. I showed these off in another video. The Titan Tech. Godzilla vs. Kong. And this isn't even far enough to get him all in. <laughs> now, honestly, before I show them off, for how much is in here, there's some pretty good articulation. Uh, that's a lie. The head doesn't move. The jaw moves. The tail can move. The arms, and then the hands, the legs, and then the feet. But, if you love Transformers and Godzilla, this is the thing you want. So, there's some pretty basic ones like this, and that, on the other side. This isn't canon, of course, <laughs> to the Legendary Universe. This is just free, uh, you know, it's just like, we have an idea, let's make it into a toy. You know, just free money. So you gotta get them all undone, which takes around, probably... I mean, if I could speed run this, it'd probably take me, like, 30 seconds. But, trying to show it off. So, it's probably going to take around a minute. So, let's get all that. Now, here comes the tricky part. Now, you have to rip Godzilla apart. It may seem like you're breaking it, but you're not. Trust me, I have put so much force into uh, taking this guy apart so many times, and he is fine. Let's get all the pieces out. First up, you want to get the chest. And then, so here, let me back it up. You flip it over. And then put the chest piece back in and flip those guys out. Now they have these little pieces and these big ones out. Close him back up. Oh, wait. There we go. Come on. You can be difficult here and there. There we go. <laughs> Get his flaps back up and then you connect these. He has like a skeleton. And I remember before Godzilla vs. Kong came out, there were, like, leaked images. And one of them had Godzilla, like, with tech on it. Everyone's like, oh my god, they're good. Godzilla's a good team with the humans and beat up Mecha Godzilla." <laughs> but now looking back, it's just an early prototype of the Titan tech, most likely. Now the final piece is in the tail. You take it out, unfold this, set it down. Now he has a tail spike protecting him. <laughs> but it's a very odd figure, for sure. I mean, like, you know, wires and metal inside of Godzilla with rockets. He, he can already spit radiation, so I don't really think he needs <laughs> this minor weaponry. But this would be useful for when King Ghidorah drops you from the stratosphere. Um, but it's definitely cool. Um, if you like Transformers and Godzilla, it's definitely a good pickup. And the Kong one, in my, in, like, my uh, opinion, is even better, which is rare for me, because usually I always prefer the Godzilla over Kong. <laughs> SH Monster Arts. Um... <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's definitely a cool figure. So, I, I think I was around 20. If I put everything in, this guy is kind of rare-ish now. I think I got him for, like, 30 at G-Fest. Of course, the squishy and all the other little guys. But, 
yeah, these are the weird Godzilla figures. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow will be a fun video. This could be an in-person one. Um, don't know what I'll do Saturday. And then Sunday, we have a special. All I'll say, all I, all I'll say is BB. All right, just BB. If you figure out what that is, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know what BB stands for. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, so have a good day. If you don't see me again after Christ until after Christmas, have a good Christmas. If you want to see more Godzilla stuff, check out the channel. If you're a new viewer, I would really appreciate a like, even a subscribe, because I'm doing ten days of Christmas and it's hard editing and making ten videos every day. Because uh, I don't have it written down. I wake up and have to think of an idea. But that's enough, enough ranting. Everybody, have a good one. Godzilla guy out.